reincarnation of a king long gone the highest enlightened nigga sitting on top of the sun yo 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 what is going on youtube it's your boy danny aka king bub and I am your coach of the one and only Manchester United and yes we are here with week one of the battle union so first off I'm gonna let you guys know if I sound a little soft not as loud as usual it's because my family is sleeping right now so I can't be too crazy loud but I need to get the video done and put up by Friday um, and it's right now it's Thursday 3 in the morning well Friday 3 in the morning so I have to get this done edit and then go to school which is gonna suck because I'm extremely tired but we're gonna have to get through this guys because I do want you guys to see um week one so the way we're gonna do this is that we're gonna do the team builder first and then the battle um just so you can see the team I brought and stuff like that I didn't want to do a separate team builder and stuff like that and um yeah so that's how it's gonna be hope you guys are fine with that if you do want to skip go ahead and skip but i do recommend to just look at the team and see the makeup of the team and see what we're gonna bring with and all that stuff so first of all i gotta say a big big thanks to gypsy king um he helped me build this week um he's a really good friend and he he's gonna he's gonna help me every now and then when he has time and i'm gonna have other people like maddie bro like my good boy mora all my homies fries um bill uh hera um, Renny T, Deeves, all of those guys are all my good buddies. A lot, um, more, uh, more of them are gonna be helping me too. I just, you know, can't name a whole list of people, but um, Fries, Hera, Renny T, Aaron. And Mora, they all helped me with mock battles and stuff like that. I actually had three mock battles with this team against, yeah, obviously, Jack's team. And we're going up against Jack and the Wolverhampton Weavals in week one. Just Weavile. Make sure you check his channel. He's a dope channel. He's he's has amazing content. So make sure you guys do follow him. But I did have three mock ba battles with this team against his team. Um, and I won all three games, so it's pretty cool, and, you know, going up against really good opponents, some of my good friends, you know, practicing like that, helping me practice, so I feel pretty confident in this team, hopefully we can do some work, um, and, um, yeah, so, so let, let's get into this, so we hopefully don't make it too crazy long for you guys, and once again, I apologize if I sound really quiet, I don't know if I do, I hope not, I'm actually pretty close to my mic, so hopefully we don't sound too crazy, but let me, let me get the dock up real quick, and you'll see the team pop, the teams pop up, my team and their team, uh, and Jack's team pop up, um, real quick, let me just get the docks. I should have got this out, but, alright, so his team is Mega Charizard, White, Tapu Bulu, Scizor, Primarina, Cresselia, Smeargor, Alolan Raichu, Superior, and Zygarde 10%, which is the dog form, and he has the bench, the three bench mods is Gallade, Turnada, and Umbreon, so, the three bench on the bottom he cannot use, and same goes for me, I cannot use Escavalier, Verizion, and Lycanroc midday, so, um, so yeah, so it's, it's pretty much the 9 on top that you can use and the mons on my side that I can bring, obviously I'm not bringing all of them, there's Magirna, we got Toxapex, Latios, Donphan, Thunderous T, Miltank, Mega Aso, Hitmonlee, Magini, like I said, Lycanroc, Verizion, and Scavalier on the bench for this week. And yeah, so that's gonna, that's, that, that's the roster, that's the, that's the matchup, I think I got a pretty good matchup against, um, Jack, the first thing I see is that he has two defoggers that aren't the best defoggers in the world scissor and smeargle so i'm gonna try to take advantage of that as you're gonna see on the team and what else what else what else um the p the mons i think he's gonna bring 100 percent he has to bring primarina either with a z move a, z a psychic z move or specs um primarina he has to bring he has to bring zydog zydog my team is extremely weak to ground types especially um zydog which can use a um thousand arrows and things like Thunderous um, and Latios are still going to be pushed down, you know, things like that. Um, he has to bring Cresselia. Cresselia has a great matchup. Mega Charizard, I think, is going to bring in Tapu Bulu. The last one, I'm either going to say Scizor or Smeargle because Smeargle can, be, Smeargle can do anything, really. Um, in one of my mock battles, Renny T made a team for Hera and he had a belly drum Smeargle that almost lost me the game. So, you know, crazy things like that can actually come for sure. And Scizor, just, you know, Scizor is annoying. Scizor is, can hit extremely hard. Scizor can be a defogger, can be bulky, can be set up. I'm expecting a Bandit Scizor though. C bandit Scizor could be annoying. Definitely 100%. Um, but we'll see about that. We'll see about that. So, I'm a little bit out of breath. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm out of breath. 
<laughs> so let's start off. As you guys already see on the screen here, we are bringing Sasuke our Latios. And this is going to be a bulky Latios. It's going to be Leftovers, Hidden Power, Fire for Scizor. Ice Beam for Tapu Bulu. Um, Roost and then Thunderbolt to hit Primarina and to hit Charizard Y. So if you look at our spread here, we have 148 in HP, we have 4 in special attack, 172 in special defense, and 184 Tim in nature. So pretty much this set that we are running with this week is, is bulky enough to take our Charizard Y. We are 2 hit KO by Dragon Pulse. The thing is that um, we are faster than it, so we have enough speed to outspeed um, base 100 Pokemons like Charizard Y. So we are able to roost up before and we could hit it with a nasty Thunderbolt. So if it already has some damage off from rocks and stuff like that, Thunderbolt is going to be able to kill 100%. I think it does around 50 something or 60. So it's going to be a 2 hit KO 100%. And if he has rocks, if I already have rocks up and then Charizard is going to be going down from one Thunderbolt. And that is Latios job. Latios job is just to handle Charizard Y. He's my only check to Charizard Y. Um, um, Toxapex can also be one, but it's not the most reliable one. I think Lottie's much more reliable, and I think this set is going to be very nice. And like I said, HP Fire to smack Scizor if I need to smack it. Ice Beam for um, Tapu Bulu and Thunderbolt for Primarina if I need to run that also. So that is Latios. Hopefully, Latios can do something. And as long as we get rid of Charizard Y with Latios, that's really all it has to do. I don't care what else it does as long as it does that. So next, we are going to go into... Toxapex. So we are bringing Toxapex, uh, more specially defensive Toxapex, so it can actually take Lee Storms from Superior. Um, this thing gets completely bopped by Zydog and Tapu Bulu, so I have to be careful about that. You know, those two, those are two things that can easily come in on this and do a lot of damage to it, completely wipe it out. So um, this thing is also here to kind of handle Cresselia a little bit in case it wants to calm mine. Cresselia, calm mine is not the best set against my team, but I'm bringing it in case you can never be too safe against it, just in case he breaks down my other checks to Cresselia. And um, we're going to need that haze. So if you look at his set, it is Toxic Spikes, Liquidation, Haze, and Recover. So Toxic Spikes, like I said, his Defogger is Scizor and Smeargle. That's the only thing two things he has so setting up toxic spikes all over his team really only want to set up one layer of toxic spike because like constantly is going to be doing more damage to things like tapu bulu who might not stay in constantly you know turn to turn to turn and zydog who also might not stay in constantly turn to turn because i'm expecting a choice bandit zydog and a ch um choice scarf bulu and probably a bandit scissor i know that's weird there's a lot of um choice items but that actually does pretty good work to my team um so um yeah so maybe or or even a source that type of bulu can be extremely scary against my team so we have to be careful about that i did go up against one and we handled it well but it's still extremely scary and yeah yeah so toxic spikes are gonna dwindle down his team really the game for us is to chip at his team Kill Zydog so we can win with one of our win conditions, which you will see later on in this team builder. So talk to Spike Liquidation because um, it's just a good, it hits decently hard. Liquidation actually does decent damage to Cresselia Scizor and it has that chance to drop the defense. So that's really, really awesome. I'm excited about that. Dropping the defense is going to be really nice if we do get it. Um, one of my mock battles, I dropped Cresselia's defense and then knock off just knocked it off with mega absol so that's pretty dope we got haze like i said for cresselia and um yeah we have recovered just to get some health back we don't really need it because i'm most likely going to be switching out to get regenerator health instead of staying in but it's there just in case we do need it and we need it we can try to stall something out like zydog top like in outrage or something like that i don't know so we got rocky helmet just to get that chip off damage to zydog if we do need to sack this thing off to an outrage or something and just get chip damage on scissor because Scizor, you know, wants to U-turn around, so this thing's going to punish that Scizor from wanting to constantly U-turn around. So this is Toxic Spikes, hopefully it can be cool. All I really wanted to do is set up Toxic Spikes and handle Cresselia and not let it to go, go too crazy with Calm Mind. So next, we are going to show off Mega Absol. So Mega Absol, we are bringing week one, which is pretty dope. Um, this is a cool, pretty cool Mega Absol. So normally I don't like to run 252 standard sets like this, but this I needed to do it this week for Mega Absol. I was talking with Gypsy King, you know. We decided to go full speed in Mega Absol because we want something to at least speed tie with um, Zydog in case it gets crazy and we, you know, we have that hope of hopefully winning the speed tie. I know that's crazy to think about, you know, just depending on that, but hopefully um, we do win a speed tie if it does come to that situation. So that's why I'm running full speed, full attack, and then four in special attack. 
uh, because we are going to be running Flamethrower for Tapu Bulu, for Scizor, Rock Slide for Charizard Y, Knock Off just for straight power, because Knock Off is pretty much what I'm going to be clicking the whole time, um, unless obviously like Charizard's in front of me or something like that, I'm clicking Rock Slide, and then Taunt in case Caselios to Calm Mind or Heal Up in front of me and things like that, um, it's better just to Taunt it if we ever need to need to do that i'm probably not gonna use taunt this match but why not i think it's a good a good move to have just in case um you know to stop cresselia with that shenanigans and, and things like that so yeah we're running full speed full attack mega absol he has to bring primarina um primarina was this thing 110 percent and mega absol can really do so much work to his team if he doesn't bring primarina so i 100 percent think primarina is coming and Primarina is extremely scary to this team and I'm scared of that thing so as soon as I can get rid of Primarina or at least get rid of his choice specs or something like that um, it's gonna be better for the team so um, yeah, yeah Absol's coming in for sure so uh, yeah ho hopefully Mega Absol can put in some work <laughs> yeah. so next we are gonna show off Blueberry the Milk Tank Milk Tank's here to handle Tapu Bulu um, Bulu is okay so we have Milk Drank, Toxic, Fire Punch, Stealth Rocks Leftover so Milk Drank for health Toxic to Toxic that Cresselia because if it's not a sub we do outspeed it which you will see but we have Toxic just to try Toxic Cresselia Toxic everything else but the um, Scizor of course and we actually do hit Scizor with Fire Punch with a lot of lot of damage Obviously, unless it's carrying an Okaberry or something like that, but I am expecting a Bandit Scissor. I don't think Okaberry will come. So, um, yeah, Fire Punch hits Tapu Bulu, it hits Scissor. Um, pretty, pretty decently nice. And then we got Stealth Rocks because we do want to set up Stealth Rocks. Um, Miltan can really set up Stealth Rocks on a lot of things. Can set up Stealth Rocks on Cresselia, can set it up on Bulu, can set it up on Scissor. Um, we can take a superpower, we can take a superpower from Bulu, things like that, but we have Sap Zipper to take um, the Wood Hammers or Horn Leash from Bulu, we can take Mega Horns, we can take everything, um, a superpower, like I said, doesn't kill, so if you look at our spread, we have 196 speed, 252 in Pitch Nature, and 60 in speed, the 60 is so we can outspeed an Adamant, full speed, um, Tapu Bulu, so if he wants to read my switch into Mill Tank, he superpowers me, next turn I'll be able to outspeed if he's Adamant, and um, and obviously we'll cock the damage to see if he's adamant or not, but if he's adamant, I'll be able to outspeed Milk Drink up. The second superpower is not going to kill, and then I can constantly keep stalling it out with just, you know, Milk Drinking up, Toxic, Stealth Rocks, like that. So, um, Milk Tank's pretty good. It can also handle Superior. You know, we got Sap Sipper, so if it tries to hit us with Leaf Storms, it doesn't get that plus boost. Um, and that's pretty, pretty awesome, so I'm super hyped about that. And hopefully Milk Tank can do good for us because we need to keep this thing healthy for Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is pretty scary. Um, the number one threat is um, Zydog and you'll see you'll see what's gonna wall Zydog. You guys will see. But next we have our win condition and this is Zeus the Thunder Steering with Dark Game Z. So the plan with Thunder is, is to set up a nasty plot and just kill Dark Game Z plus two um, Dark Pulse on a Cresselia full calm nature special defense HP it completely wipes that thing out unless it has a cobra berry um so that's that's pretty neat that's pretty neat thunderbolt destroys his whole team sludge really destroys his whole team so the only thing really stopping this is zydog um so we gotta really get rid of zydog right away and then we can win with thunderous that's pretty much the plan so we're our plan is to set up rocks set up talking spikes and kill zydog pretty much that's how we're gonna do it um, i'm running full speed once again i don't like 252 sets but we have to have this so we can outspeed um the the charizard y it's we need it we need to help you charizard y just in case obviously a thunderbolt is going to wipe that thing out 110 percent so that is thunder it's not a lot to talk about thunder it's just here to be our late game sweeper um and it's going to be mixed with hazards and you'll see our next mon so this next mon is definitely a pretty flame set that gypsy king helped me um help me find out that it's actually pretty dope so we are going to be bringing at shoddy youtube Shoddy, you better follow me after this set. So, we got leftovers. Leaf Guard because in the sun, Meganium cannot get toxic, which is pretty cool. He has a Charizard Y, so, you know, the sun might be up against our Meganium, which can be pretty dope. And then, excuse me if you heard me sniffle. I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm a little sick. Not really, it's, it's just cold outside. But we got Light Screen and Reflect, which is pretty amazing. Giga Drain and Synthesis. So, um... Du dual screens is really important. I can set up screens in front of Zydog. This is my wall to Zydog. And it could also handle Tapu Bulu in case Miltank goes down. But 
Meganium is pretty much the most important thing to this team. I know it's crazy to say, yes, a Meganium is the number one thing for this team. Because if it can keep Zydog and just dwindle down Zydog to it, you know, till we can kill it, then we, we can win with Thunders pretty much. So, of course, if we scout for Scarves and things like that. So we have Reflect and Light Screen. Light Screen is in case I put it up because Charizard Y is a pretty easy switch into Meganium. And Light Screen, I can put it up and then Latios has an easier time handling Charizard Y, which is pretty dope. And then Reflect to handle Bulu in case it wants to set up Swords Dance and also um, handle a Choice Bandit. Uh, Zydog really has does no damage to Meganium under Reflect. Even without Reflect, it does no damage. Alrich does a good amount of damage, but if he's not banded, then Meganium is clean switch into Zydog. So that is the team, guys. I'm hoping we can do some great work with this team in the battle. We'll see in the battle. So yeah, I'll see you guys <laughs> in the battle. All right. Alright guys, so here we are with the battle. So we are looking at Jack's team and he does bring the Smeargle. He brings Charizard Y, Zygarde, 10% um, Tapu Bulu, Scizor, and Cresselia. So yeah, right away I see no Primarina and I'm completely shocked. When I had my three mock battles um, for this for this, um, for this this matchup, none of my opponents brought... Primarina, which I was pretty shocked because I think Primarina is a great, great check against my team. It handles, it can handle um, Scizor, a great thing for um, Latios and things like that. I know it can be checked by Thunderous and Toxapex, but a Z move can easily take on those things like Toxapex, like Z moves, a Psychic Z move, and things like that. So I'm actually extremely shocked he didn't bring Primarina. But he brings the Smeargle instead, so he does bring the Smeargle, and everything else I pretty much got right. Um, like I said, Primarina was the thing that was missing uh, besides that. So, um, before I started the match, I told myself that I'm going to be starting off with Meganium no matter what, except if he brings Smeargle, I'm starting off with Mega Absol. I don't want no Sticky Whip, I don't want no Rocks Up, I don't want no Spikes Up, I don't care. If he starts off with something else, I am 100% leading with my Mega Absol. So, so this is recorded, so I'm, I can pause it for you guys and stuff like that. I recorded it beforehand so I can pause it and I can talk my moves and things like that. So we're going to start off. Um, this actually might be a little long, so let me, let me just talk through it. Like I said, we are going to be leading off with our homie Mega Absol because it can actually handle... It can completely wipe out a non-Sash lead um smeargle and i'm sorry if the quality is pretty bad for this wi-fi battle guys i don't know what's going on with my computer i have to fix it and i'm also going to be actually yeah, let me pause it i'm going to be doing the citra quality i just need to figure it out i still haven't been able to figure it out i'm 100 percent gonna have it for week two for you guys so that's gonna be something cool to look forward to and i'm also gonna have an overlay i didn't get to have an overlay this week because something happened with my gfx guy he kind of disappeared and he didn't give me the file and i don't have it he, he should be back by week two so you'll be seeing a nice little overlay so for now you know it's just handle handle no overlay and handle no citra quality so just putting that out there okay guys so th <laughs> thank you for for taking that for me so yeah like i said he does start off with the smear go which is great for me i'm starting off with my mega apps looking all nice and cool finally getting to use mega apps so it's been a dream for me to want to use this thing and i'm pretty excited so we are gonna mega evolve and I'm gonna go for the knockoff, so I don't know what he was gonna go for. Um, he can't kill me in one shot at all, and sorry if it lags a little bit. It lags a little bit in the beginning, so go through that. He actually goes for King Shield, which is a really good play. I did not see that coming. King Shield is a really good play. It's gonna drop my attack. He gets to scout what I'm gonna go for. It's a little risky in case I did go for Sword Sands, but Sword Sands first turn would have been a little crazy. But whatever. He goes King Shield, and here I just go for the knockoff again. It's still gonna do about 60% damage to this um, Smear Go, so it's a 2-hit KO, 100%. So look at this damage. This is a this is a a minus a minus one attack, no item taken off, knockoff, and that does a huge chunk to Charizard Y. So right now my mindset is alright, he's going to Charizard Y to take the knockoff. And now he's gonna switch out to scout for the rock slide. So even though I was thinking he might scout for the rock slide, I'm still gonna go for the rock slide because to me just in case he doesn't think I have Rock Slide, I'm still gonna go for it. I, he actually stays in, and I'm extremely shocked because he's not gonna outspeed. Obviously, like I said, I am full speed Mega Absol to speed tie with Zydog, just in case he does have full speed um, Zydog, which I do expect him to bring. And we actually get a knockout in round, I mean, turn number two Mega Absol. No, turn number three Mega Absol. 
taken a life already, which is pretty awesome. So Mega Astro's already on the kill board, which is pretty dope. I'm so happy about that. I don't know what he was thinking, keeping that thing in on a Mega Absol. That could easily have Rock type. But he goes into Tapu Bulu, this freaking monster. And I'm 100% switching out, going into my Blueberry, the freaking Melt Tank. And he goes for Mega Horn and misses, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm, I'm, Mega Horn doesn't do that much. Even Bandit does about 30%. So I was pretty fine taking that easily. No problem. And here I was expecting him to switch because, you know, Superpower is not really gonna kill me. He wasn't gonna risk his Tapu Bulu, which is a big threat. So I'm just gonna go for my Stealth Fox. And here I took a perfect opportunity to Toxic this Cresselia because I am running speed and I am faster than Cresselia. Even if he was full speed, I'm pretty sure I'm still faster than this thing. Probably not, but I didn't think he was gonna run a full speed Cresselia. That'd be kind of stupid. But he goes for Psy Shock and that completely does nothing. With Leftovers and Grassy Terrain. Um, I pretty much get all that back, so I'm using his grassy terrain for my advantage because Miltank and Meganium are gonna stay extremely healthy and Toxic Pecs are gonna stay extremely healthy with the grassy terrain. So here I switch into my my um, Latios just to just to see what else he's gonna go for in case he's gonna set up Calm Mines or anything like that. And he actually switches into his Scizor, which is completely fine. Um, I got my my um. My Latios, and I do have HP Fire, but it, he is not in the range for me to kill it if it is a bulky Mega Scizor. And you know, you never know if he has an Oka Berry or something like that. So I'm gonna scout for that 110%. So I'm just gonna go to the safe play and go into my Toxic Pex, and he goes for U turn. And that does very little damage, and the Rocky Helmet damage is pretty dope with the Toxic Pex. Like I said, he can't freely U turn around now because Toxic Pex is gonna be giving that Rocky Helmet damage very, very cleanly to the Scizor. So I calced that, and I thought he was a Bandit Scizor. I guess I did my calc wrongs because he's not Bandit. You'll see what he is. But I thought he was Bandit Scizor the whole time, so um, we'll see how, what happens with that. But. Now that Charizard Y is gone, Latios is pretty much a free agent. It can do whatever it's wa it wants because Char uh, Charizard Y is the only reason why Latios was there. So I'm pretty happy with Latios. Latios can come in. I can sack it if I ever need to or if I just need to make a risky scout, I can easily scout with Latios. So that's pretty cool to have a free agent like that in Latios. Now, obviously, he's going to switch into his Zydog, which is fine. Um, Zydog, like I said, I have a complete wall to Zydog, which is the Meganium. So now this is the moment of truth. We're going to find out if Zydog is indeed banded or not so that is what i'm gonna go for go into meganium just to scout to see if his zydog is banded and um i was thinking he might go for outrage i think outrage would have been a pretty nice play because obviously i don't have mcgear now so he could freely go for outrage but he goes for sub so i'm like all right he's not a banded zydog so that's perfect and i had a feeling if he's sub he's gonna be dragon dance which is normally extremely scary but it's freaking Meganium. Meganium with a Reflect is gonna take on this freaking Zydog. So, um, even a plus, he's gonna go for Dragon Dance one more time. And I did the count for this. A plus two Zydog Outrage under a Reflect to this Meganium does about like 35%. Somewhere around. That's ridiculous. That is like no damage whatsoever. So I can easily break it up with this Giga Drain. And this Meganium is walling the biggest threat to our team, which is so amazing. Who thought Meganium will have the team on its back? Meganium is really important for our team, so we do need to keep this thing healthy. I am going to go for the Giga Drain because, you know, I just want to do damage to this side dog. It, uh, it's obvious he was going to switch out, but I don't really care because, um... It's just, there's no point really, I don't, I don't care, I'm going for Giga Drain just in case he stays in the side lock for some weird reason. So I go into my Toxapex here, and easily, obviously, he's going to go for the Defog to get rid of the Rocks because he does not want to constantly lose damage there. Um, and so the Rocks go away, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to take my chance here to set up my Toxic Spikes, which is pretty cool because now we could hurt his Tapu Bulu and things like that. And in comes his Cresselia. Cresselia already is poisoned, which is awesome. Having Cresselia Toxic is the number one way to take this thing down. So we already see Cresselia losing some health. Here, I had a feeling he was going to go for the Moonblast. It doesn't even matter. I'm staying in because if he goes for Psy Shock, it's not going to do that much because Cresselia is not boosted yet. And that Moonblast does completely nothing. So we go for the Liquidation and get some pretty decent damage. We Sadly, we don't get that defense drop 
which is perfectly fine. We're just getting damage, and the Cresselia's already at a really low amount of health, so that's pretty cool. So he goes for Slash Shock this time. Once again, I'm just staying in because um, I just want to... I don't want this thing to set up Calm Minds in case it does. So I'm just going to go for another Liquidation, do some more decent damage. And with Toxic and that Liquidation, Cresselia's in a really low amount of health, and I'm really happy because Cresselia was definitely the second biggest threat to our team. Um, because I could set up Calm Minds and things like that. It's just be extreme, an extremely annoying wall. So here I do switch into my Mega Assault thinking he was going to go for a Psy Shock. And um, he actually makes a switch of his own going into his Smeargle. So that's a pretty pretty, pretty nice pretty nice switch on his part. Um, in case he did want to set up webs or something on my um, Toxapex. But we're going to see here. I wanted, to bait, I wanted to bait his Tapu Bulu in. So I was going to go for Knock Off making him think that I only have Knock Off to pretty much hit the team you know not nothing too crazy um I, I wanted him to switch into his type of blue here and i was gonna go for flamethrower so you're gonna see in this turn i'm gonna go for flamethrower to um hopefully hoping he's gonna switch into type of blue he actually stays in and as you're gonna see he's gonna pull out some cheeky little lunar dance right here which is pretty crazy the lunar dance i did not see that coming with smirgo you don't really know what it's gonna do it can pretty much do anything it learns every single move so I know 100% he's going to bring that Lunar Dance into the Cresselia, which really sucks because we had it toxic, we had it at a l so low enough health, and it sucks to see Cresselia back to full health and not poison. That really, really does suck. But here, I, I'm not going to risk it having a Cobra Berry or anything like that when I can go into my mill tank and, and bait, bait him that I'm going to go for a Toxic. Because I really do want to Toxic this thing, but... I know that he just Lunar Danced this thing back up, so he's not going to keep this thing in against my milk tank and let it get toxic. So, um, right here, I do believe I just go for the Fire Punch. I know he's going to go into Scizor. It's the one thing that can easily take the toxic. And I do go for the power Fire Punch, and we do see him have the Oka Berry, so that's pretty... Um, I guess pretty good in his part because Scizor would have been dead, but either way, I outspeed and I'm going to be able to kill this thing. And... I don't know, Okaberry was not the greatest thing against my team. I guess it could have worked if like I went for HP Fire with um with Latios or something like that. But he switches into his Tapu Bulu as I'm gonna go for another Fire Punch. And now we're just doing some more damage to his team. Beautiful, beautiful damage. The best play for me was definitely going for the Fire Punch because um, it kills this or it does damage to Bulu, it does damage to Zydog. If he brings in his Cresselia, I can just Fire Punch and try to go for Toxic again. You know, it, it'll be as the same cycle pretty much constantly over and over again. So here I thought he might go for, um, for the Superpower. I thought he was going to go for Superpower here. Um, so I do switch into my Latios. Like I said, Latios is pretty much a free agent. I don't care if it dies. Um, I can use it to scout for moves. Um, and scout for items and sets like that so he actually does go for woodhammer which i'm completely shocked I, I don't know if he read the lottie switch or not but um he goes for the woodhammer and if i stayed in mill tank obviously i would have not taken any damage from that because we are sap zipper and here i did not think he was gonna be scarf so i do go for the ice beam i just took my chance uh taking out this tapu bulu because ice beam at this range would take it out because woodhammer did so much recoil damage poison damage and that fire punch from mill tank and he actually is scarf so um my speculations of it being Scarf is actually true. I did think he was going to bring a Scarf Bulu, but I do think Sword Stance Bulu was a bit more, a bit scarier. Um, but I probably should have switched back into Mill Tank anyway, because there's no way he was going to risk going for a Super Power on a Latios that can easily kill this this type of Bulu. So I could have switched back into Mill Tank and Latios would have still been alive. But it's whatever, like I said, we, I didn't care too much about Latios. And I just wanted to be safe in case, because we do need Mill Tank. So he actually switches out of his Tapu Bulu and I actually just go for the Stealth Rocks because um, it will kill his Bulu if he does switch out. I didn't think he would switch out, but either way if he either way, if he didn't switch out and he stayed in, he would have died from Toxic, from Poison Damage I should say. So setting up my Rocks is fine because it can do some damage, do some damage to Zydog, do some damage to Scizor. And that's pretty pretty good on our part. And we are gonna outspeed Scizor here, and we are gonna go for the Fire Punch. So he he has to go for Bullet Punch. And you see, Bullet Punch does nothing. And Mill Tank actually getting a kill. That's pretty dope, man. This fat cow is. So 
<laughs> Man, I'm loving this. I've been wanting to use Mill Tank in Draft League format. And now it is here doing the work, taking on Tapu Bulu, doing damage to Bulu, killing the Scissor, setting up Rock, just being bulky, being the fat cow Mill Tank is. And I'm super happy that it's putting in the work. So here he's gonna go into Side Dog. Um, it is gonna get poisoned, so that's pretty awesome. All we really have to do is just stall this thing out a little bit. I don't like to play the stall game, but like I said, Side Dog is the biggest threat to our team. So if we can stall it out and beat it, that's fine. But Meganium just completely walls this thing. He's gonna go for Outrage, and you're gonna see how much laughable damage this does to Meganium, guys. If you guys think Meganium suck, sucks, I should say. Just, just look at this pitiful damage. Meganium is a god. Meganium is the goat. Meganium is life. So yeah, Meganium eats that up easily, and now I can easily just go for a Reflect. This turn, as we're gonna eat up another Outrage, obviously he has no choice but to go for Outrage because he is locked into Outrage. We set up a Reflect, and with Leftovers and the Reflect that we 100% are able to eat a third Outrage if he doesn't get confused, which he doesn't, so we know that he's gonna um, hit us with an Outrage. And I'm gonna go, this turn I'm gonna go for a Synthesis. Like I said in Team Builder, we do have Synthesis to keep Meganium healthy. Meganium is the most important mod for this team, um, defensive-wise. Um, as you see, it is taking on the biggest threat to our team. And Meganium is going to get that nice, juicy health back. And I don't know why Meganium doesn't have a nickname. It's supposed to have a nickname. Um, I think I forgot to put it on there. But yeah, Meganium back to almost full. And that's awesome. Meganium just, just putting in the work, putting the team on its back against... Um, a very, very scary threat in Zydog, which is the number one thing I did not want to take on after Mammoth Swine. And we actually had to take it on week one, so that's crazy. Um, he goes he goes for the Outrage or something, and he gets hit in the face. <laughs> so um, I set up a light screen here just so, um, just so Thunderous can have a Reflect and light screen up. It can set up and pretty much win the game because Zydog is going to die from the Toxic, the Poison damage here. Which is going to actually give a kill to Toxic Pex. So look at that. Miltank and Toxic Pex putting itself on the board alongside of um, Mega Absol, who killed the Charizard Y very early in the game. I forgot that thing even existed, but he goes into Tapu Bulu. I guess sacking it off, maybe making it making me lose some screen turns. Um, but that's a kill for Miltank. So Miltank getting two kills. What the hell, Miltank? What are you doing? What are you doing to Jack's team? Come on now. So um, all he has left is this Cresselia. Here, I do the switch into Thunderous. So. I'm gonna pause it right here and just talk about something. My plan here is to go for Nasty Plot. I'm gonna go for the Dark DMZ. And um, pretty much kill this thing. If it's not Cobra Berry, it's gonna kill Cresselia in one shot. Um, a plus two Dark DMZ Dark Pulse is gonna kill Cresselia. Um, with Light Screen Up, we can pretty much take anything. And we win, we win the game regardless, but I wanted to finish it off in style with Thunders. He goes for the Ice Beam, which is pretty nice because Meganium was weak to it. Thunder is weak to it, so that's good. But as you see, it really does not do that much damage. And I go for the Nasty Plot here. So I know that all I need to do is, if he's Cobra Berry, he goes for Ice Beam again. Um, it's not going to kill us. I go for the Dark EMZ Dark Post, and it's, um, and it's not going to... Um, if he's Cobra Berry, he won't kill us with Ice Beam. And then we'll kill next turn after the Dark EMZ Dark Pulse and then another Dark Pulse. If you guys catch what I'm saying. If he's Cobra Berry, the Dark EMZ might not kill. It shouldn't kill. But he goes for Ice Beam, which also shouldn't kill because we still have the light screen up. And then we go for a plus two Dark Pulse and we kill and we win the game. So, I was looking and I was about to click Dark EMZ Dark Pulse. And I see that... I didn't see the button for Dark MC, so I was like, what is going on? What What is going on here? Um, so actually, I forgot that when um, when someone someone traded me this Thunderous, um, Juan actually traded me this Thunderous, and I did not know that you can't trade um, Z-Move Stones. Completely didn't know that. I don't know why. That's on my part. So I'm just going to have to go for a regular Dark Pulse here. And um, as you're going to see here, he's going to live it. Very, very, very low health. I um, mean, he's actually gonna go for a Z move, an Ice Beam C move on the Thunderous, which is pretty wild. But sadly, Thunderous is gonna be killed here. And because of my mistake, and I didn't check my team, I didn't check to see if he had the stone, the Z move crystal on Thunderous. Um, sadly, Thunderous is gonna go down here and it's not gonna get the kill on Cresselia. So 
We are gonna win this one for all because Mega Assault is gonna come in and get a kill. It's second kill of the match. That's good. At least Mega Assault is getting two kills. But sadly, we could have had that five, that clean 5-0 in week one against Jack. But because of my mistake and not checking to see if Thundee had the, the Z crystal on it, um, we we only get the 4-0, which is fine. Week one 4-0 is, is amazing. I'm pretty happy with this team. I'm pretty happy how, how I played. I didn't really make too many big mistakes. And Meganium, the GOAT, putting its team on its back 110% and Miltank also just being a freaking monster. So that is week one against Jack. And yes, guys, we are picking up a 4-0 victory on week one. Um, pretty pumped. Mega Absol getting two kills, man. Miltank getting two kills. Uh, and Toxapex getting one kill. And then Smeargle killing itself off. To the lunar dance i don't think that counts as a kill for mega app so i'll probably ask but i doubt it um because I, I feel like that's just making no sense but yeah we pick up the win and um uh, next week we are going up against kyle k to the two k to the dudes i don't know something like that um we're going up against his harlem gop gop Gone throtters, gone throtters, something like that i don't know i don't know I, I need to check that out but that is gonna be week two um and yeah, so starting off very well for TBU, and I hope you guys did enjoy. This was a really good, um, very good team built this week, and I'm very proud of this team. I actually really am happy of this team. Hopefully, we can do some more work with this team. So thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Munchlax United and your boy King Bub, and make sure you show support. Make sure you leave a like and make sure you sub. And don't forget, guys, the Meganium is the go. All right, guys, thank you, and like always, have a beautiful day.